Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In the last two videos, I did talk about rules of method of overriding, and especially this video also belongs to what method of overriding concept. Now, what is the fifth overriding rule? Already we discussed four overriding rules. The last one, the fifth one is observe if superclass method having if the superclass method having throws keyword, if superclass method having throws keyword in the subclass, in the subclass we can use, in the subclass we can use same throws with the class, throws with the exception class, throws with the exception class subclass exception class and subclass exception class subclass ok we can delete throws keyword we can delete throws keyword next one but we cannot write throws with exception class super class Simply it is a super class, exception class, super class. We cannot write, we cannot throws, we cannot throws exception class, incompatible exception classes, incompatible exception class. So, what is the fifth overriding rule here? If the super class method having throws keyword one exception class, in the subclass we can write throws with the same exception class or it is a subclass that exception class subclass or we can delete but we cannot write it is a super class as well as what uh, incompatible classes. To getting full fledged idea on top of this topic we need to understand small hierarchy related to exception handling. Now my intention is here I am not talking about anything related to exception and errors and everything just let me show you like what is the super class and what is the subclass here. So, object is super class after that we are taking throwable under the throwable we have a two problems one is the error another one is exception in the error we have two things one is compile time error another one is runtime error in the exception we have two things one is runtime exceptions another one is compile time exception, but th there is no particular class name like compile time exceptions. So, we can write like uh, generally we are writing like compile time exception, but if that is not a class name. Under the compile time exception we have classes like uh, IO exception, under the IO exception we have a classes like uh, file not found exception and also we can we have some lot of subclasses we have, but here I am writing like only two things end of file, end of file exception. Now some incompatible classes like uh, clone not uh, in illegal access illegal access exception instantiation exception lot of classes we have so we don't require all those things right now observe here the super class for errors and exceptions is what here throwable okay throwable is the subclass of what object so mainly exceptions are classified into two types one is runtime exception another one is what here compile time exception, but there is no terminology like compile time exception, there is no class like run, uh, compile time exception, but we have a class like what here runtime exception. Under the we have lot of uh, under the compile time exception we have lot of subclasses like IO exception and illegal access exception, instance exception and lot of exception we have and here IO exception having two subclasses file not found exception and end of file exception. Now, here exception is the super class for IO exception. These two file not found exception and of file exception is the subclass of what here? IO exception. And illegal access exception is what here? Incompatible exception. So, these are some different uh, category we have. Now, let me coming to overriding rule. There is one method void m1, void m1 having one throws keyword and one exception class. So, we are working with the IO streams. So, what we need to do? We need to import those statements. Import java.io.store. Now, 
control C, control V, control C, control V. If the superclass method having throws with one exception class, in the subclass also we can write what here throws with the same exception class name. Now observe here Java C test dot Java, Java test. Now observe here. If you want to write it is a subclass, what is the subclass here? File not O small letter, file not F capital letter again, file not found exception naming conventions, Java C test dot Java and Java test. This is also executes. Nothing but either we can write throws with the same class or throws with its subclass. And the third one, what is the third one here? Observe. What is the third one here? If your code is not giving any exceptions, then simply we can write what we can delete that throws keyword. We can delete that uh, throws keyword Java C test dot Java Java test successfully compile and executes. So, what is the fifth override rule? If super class method having the throws with one exception class, we can write we can write uh, throws with the same class, same exception class, or we can write it is a subclass or we can delete, but we cannot write it is a super class. Let me write to write super class here. Here what is the super class for IO exception? Exception. So, let me compile. Now, once you compile the program, what I am getting? M1 in B cannot override M1 in A. What is the problem? Override method does not throws exception. So, whatever the method we are writing M1 that is only throws IO exception and it is a super class or we can delete, but we cannot increase. That is the one rule. And one more, this is what here not a override method. Not a override not a override method. Good. Now, observe guys. Let me write last in the fifth overriding only we have a five types. Fifth rule only we have what here? Five types. What is this? Illegal access exception. Now, clear the screen. Java, clear the screen. Java C test dot Java. Java C test dot Java. Yes, what is that? M1 in B cannot override M1 in A. Override method does not throw illegal access exception. What is the mean here? There is no compatible between IO exception to illegal access exception. So, this is the fifth override rule in Java language. Up to now, there are five overriding rules here. We discuss one is subclass method access modifier must and should be same as superclass access modifier are increasable. Second one is subclass method return type same as superclass method return type do not go for impulsivity concept in your brain exact method return types we required and the third one method name should be same as superclass here we, you may be getting small doubt if you are using some different method name without overriding annotation it will feels like a what one method of subclass if you mention override then it will checking what your overriding rules so third rule is what subclass method name same as superclass method name what is the fourth rule number of type of and order or place of parameter must and should be same as superclass method parameters if you not overriding also we will get what here so error here now the last override rule is last override rule is if the superclass method having the throws keyword in the subclass also we are using throws keyword with the same class throws keyword with the subclass throws keyword with what here uh, we can delete the throws keyword but we cannot write incompatible classes as well as we cannot write its a superclass these are the five overriding rules we have but in the 1.5 in java 1.5 java community people adding one more rule that is covariant return types that concept we will see separately in the next video i hope you enjoy this all five method of overriding rules for more videos please subscribe to channel thank you meet you in the next video